To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye. In the shadow of your wings, protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in need of mercy because many times we fail the Lord in His love and compassion. Let us acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my grievous fall. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service, and at all times obtain for us your help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud. For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us. For the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with your contra with, with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. 
Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Please stand. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times. Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Move with compassion the master of the servant, let him go and forgive him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgive your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mayong aga mga utod. Kumusta po kayo? I'm so happy to see many senior citizens at this uh, Eucharistic celebration. Thanks be to God, amat-amat nagabalik na ta. No? At I'm inviting all na saan din eh, magbalik na tayo sa physical mass. Tapos na tayo sa mga online masses. No? Kay two years has been uh, very difficult for us. Now it's about time with proper observance of the protocols like you face mask, have wearing face mask, alcohol, social distancing. It's about time to go back. No? Kapo na tayo sa mga online masses. Ang atong mata sa pag ano sa pagtanlaw, pagtanaw sa mga videos, ano na, kapo na na stress na ta. Actually, ang mga online celebration are only meant for special and emergency situation. Pag may ara ka sakit, as hospital ka o kaya nung pandemic, lockdown. Pero ngayon na nakikita natin na nag-open na tayo level 1. So, with proper observance of the protocol, balik na ta. Balik na ta. Walang masarap 
at malalim na pag-celebrate ng Holy Eucharist with your physical presence because the Lord is real, physically present in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, bong sa atong Lenten celebration, we are renewing, at the same time, rediscovering the value of prayer. Kabalukugid na tanan seryoso sa ating prayer life, diri, ng ating mga Carmelite sisters, 24-7, they are into the prayer life, not only for themselves, but for all of us, for the whole church. At kayo rin, mga sister seculars, mga lay people, mga senior citizens, kayo din, alam ko at nararamdaman ko yung intense desire for prayer. Ngayong kwaresma, we are um, rediscovering more, deepening more, at the same time, renewing our prayer life. Pero, ito ang senyales kapag tayo ay tuod-tuod gin na nagdarasal at may ara madalam na prayer life. Nas Ebanghelyo. Kapag matig ang puso at hindi kayo nagpo-forgive, kapag kayo ay may sama ng loob sa inyong kasing-kasing dahil hindi kayo nagpapatawad at pirmi pa rin kayong nagpangamuyo, ang prayer life nyo aragid, ibig sabihin, you are not yet maturing in prayer life. Ang prayer life ang consequent fruit niyan, authentic at saka talagang deep prayer life is a forgiving heart. A forgiving heart. Kapag nagdarasal ka at punong-puno ka ng galit, punong-puno ng basura ng iyong kasing-kasing, kay akig ka, kay ayaw mo magpatawad, kay nasaktan ka, at nagdarasal ka pa rin, lalong-lalo na Every day, dinadasal natin ang Our Father. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have us in us. And then, it is Ebanghelyo. Sa Ebanghelyo din, no? Sa parable na ibinigay ni Heso Kristo, siling niya, pinatawad nung, nung hari, nung leader, yung isa katao na very huge ang debt. As in, na kailangang ibenta ang kaugalingon niya, ang pamilya niya, ang asawa niya, para lang may pambayad sa utang na very huge, very daku. Pero lumapit siya sa king at ang sabi niya, be patient with me and I will pay you back in full. He fell down, did him homage and said that to the king. At naluwi man ang king, naluwi man siya, at pinatawad niya kahit daku yan. Tingnan niyo, napakadaku na kailangang ibenta ang bugong panimalay para lang may pambayad at hindi pa sapat ang bugos na panimalay para bayaran ang utang. Pero dito sa Ebanghelyo, sa parable, pinatawad sila. Without condition, pinatawad. Tanggal ang utang. Pinatawad. Pero ito siya ngayon isa kanyang upod na may utang nga lang sa kanya na napaka-jutay. Siguro, piso lang yan o kusing. Napaka-jutay. As in, wala mang kavali-value, katorya-torya. Pareho din ang formula in the gospel na sinabi nung, nung servant na may madakong utang at yun ding formula na sinabi nung may utang sa kanya. Ang silang dito, be patient with me kaparehong formula and I will pay you back at kaparehong movement falling to his knees his fellow servant begged him pero anong ginawa ng servant na to may, na may utang lang siyang kadak kaliit hindi niya pinatawad as in kailangan bayaran kahit kusing lang yan siyempre sino bang hindi magagalit nalaman niya ng, ano, ng master I have forgiven you in small in in your huge debts, and this one 
which is very, very small, and you did it forgive. Sampal doon sa isang tao na hindi nagpapatawad. Samantalang, he received a huge favor, the mercy of the Master, when he begged for forgiveness. At ang nakakatuwa dito, sa Ebanghelo na to, si Peter na very proud pa na, Lord, sabi niya, Jesus, how many times will I forgive my enemies? Seven times? Alam niyo yung number seven sa Bible, it speaks of completion. Complete, total, perfect. Proud na proud pa si Peter. Seven times? Kumbaga, perfect number na yon. Lord, will I forgive seven times? Parang yung ginamit niyang seven times, ano na yun, talagang wow, no? Complete number, total number, bugos na number, seven times. Nga lang, first time, second time, ang hirap-hirap na, no? Seven times pa. Pero sa Peter na mismo nagsabi niyan, ha? Proud na proud siyang lumapit kay Jesus. Nagtanong kay Jesus. Pero ano nangyari dito? Ano sabi ni Jesus? At napahiya si Peter? No, not seven times. But 70 times 7. I-multiply natin yon 490 plus. Almost 500. Hindi lang pala 7 times, but 70 times 7. My God, ibig sabihin, unceasing. Unceasing, non-stop. Kung meron tayong unlimited rice, na gustong-gusto natin, unlimited uh, tea, na binibili natin, Pero sa ating spiritual life, merong unlimited mercy, forgiveness. Ito yung challenge. Pero ito yung struggle natin. Kahit nga lang magpatawad ng isang beses, ang hirap na sa atin, what more unlimited? What more unlimited? My dear brothers and sisters, kung kayo ngayong panahon ng kwaresma, may kaaway kayo, may sakit ng damdamin, nagdurugo ang puso niyo at ayaw niyo magpatawad, well, it's about time. Walang kwenta ang ating mga fasting, walang kwenta ang ating mga charitable works, walang kwenta ang ating mga pagsisimba kung hindi tayo nagpapatawad, kung hindi tayo marunong magpatawad. Because the Lord Himself says to us, forgive and be merciful as the Lord, as the Father is merciful. Father, mahirap. Super mahirap magpatawad. Well, you begin with the prayer. Kung mahirap magpatawad, you pray for the person. You pray for him, for her who have hurt you. And if at this time, it's very difficult to forgive, to forget, and to forgo, at least, be open and pray for your enemies. That one day, by the mercy of God, by the grace of God, in perfect time, you can totally forgive. Pero it starts with an open heart na you will forgive in God's time. At least, ang mahalaga, meron kang desire to forgive. Meron kang openness to forgive. I tell you a secret of a long life and a happy life. Kapag kayo ay makakatulog ng maayos sa gabi dahil wala kayong kaaway, wow, that's heaven already. Pero kapag kayo ay matutulog at hindi makatulog, at anong kahit ang gawin yung pampatulog, hindi kayo makatulog, dahil ang dami-dami ninyong iniisip at na-stress kayo dahil sa pain at away ninyo, Mahirap. Ang hirap. We deserve to be happy, my dear brothers and sisters. We deserve the joy in our hearts and peace in our hearts. Magpatawad. Prayers of the faithful. The Lord Jesus teaches us 
to be generous in forgiving others. Even as he has forgiven us first, let us pray for God's mercy on us and our brothers and sisters. Lord, teach us to forgive. Lord, teach us to forgive. Lord, bring peoples to peace and reconciliation and turn sword into plowshares, the weapons of war into instruments of progress, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to forgive. forgive. Lord, we come to you with contrite and humble heart. Forgive our sins and transgressions, we pray. Lord, teach us to forgive. Lord, you forgave the repentant thief on the cross. Remember those who confess their sins and let them feel the joy of reconciliation, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to forgive. forgive. Lord, it is in forgiving that we are forgiven. Bestow the power of love upon us all, and just as we forgive, so too would forgive everyone, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to forgive. forgive. Lord, have mercy in your compassion on those who have died. Forgive them their sins and welcome them into the gladness of your glory. We pray, Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to, to forgive. forgive. Let us pray for our enemies, for those who have hurt us in the past and at present, those who continue to trouble us and burden us because of the pain that they have brought. We pray that one day, if we are not yet ready to forgive, we have the grace to accept them, to forgive them, and to move on. We pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to, to forgive. forgive. Father in heaven, we ask you to forgive us our trespasses and to bring us to forgive others. Make us instruments of your peace. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the dirt and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the divine work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your almighty power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patricia, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all the consecrated. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints, we are pleased to throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Prayer for peace, the peace that we need. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of the church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, who may abide in your tent and dwell on your holy mountain, whoever walks without fault and does what is just. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, O oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen. Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, 
dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.